Hi, welcome back to another episode of Bake and Make. I'm Angela Kopeski. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this gorgeous wine bottle cake. Now what I've got here is a rectangular cake. It's a 9 by 13 inch. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a 3 centimeter cutter and we're going to be cutting out the circles for the cake for the bottle itself. So just using a knife, just cut around the edge, make sure that the circle doesn't crumble. And what we're going to do is we're going to push it out from the back gently and place it to the side. So I've cut out all six pieces from, from that there and just placed it on a board. Now I'm going to use a three centimeter cutter for the neck of the bottle. And then we're just going to cut two of those out and place them to one side. Just like that. Okay, now we've got our cake here and I'm going to be sculpting the front of the cake and this is going to be the neck of the bottle using a sharp knife just sculpt it around until you get a perfect perfect size and shape okay I've got a board here and I'm going to be using some white chocolate ganache you can use buttercream if you'd like now what we're going to do is we're going to fill each part so we can sandwich the pieces together and then just spread that around and stick them all together. Now you can see I've done all the fillings here including the neck and I'm going to be grabbing some white fondant and this is going to go underneath the neck underneath the um, the neck part of the bottle. So just place that down Okay, now I've ganached the outside of this. Again, you can use buttercream. Um, and I'm using a scraper here, or you can use a knife if you don't have one of these. So just smooth it out gently. And then just go around the edges to create a smooth, even finish on the cake. Okay, what I've done is I've placed this in the freezer for 15 minutes. And we're going to be taking our black fondant here. And we'll just knead it, give it a good knead, not too much because it will crack. I'm using icing sugar or you can use corn flour. And then we'll just roll out the black fondant. Just be careful not to get any icing sugar on the top part and make sure that your hands are always clean if you're touching the icing underneath. So just roll it out. Now I've rolled out the piece, so I'm going to put it aside and we're going to get our cake here. And then we're just going to lift the fondant gently. Be careful so it doesn't tear. Lift it up and place it gently over the top of the bottle. Make sure our hands are clean again. And then we're just going to smooth out the sides. Smooth it out all the way. You can lift it back up again and then smooth it down all the way around careful not to tear it, just be gentle. Get in all of the crevices there. Okay, now I've finished it and I've cut the sides. Now I'm just going to be using my hand to smooth out anything that doesn't look right. Okay, now what we're going to be doing is the back part. I've got some back black fondant here and we're just going to roll it out into a long string and I'm going to be using a ruler just to get an even finish on this. So just roll it out all the way into a nice thin piece. And then getting a sharp knife, just chop each end off. Now we're going to squash it down to make it a little bit flat. And then I'm going to take some sugar glue. You can use water if you'd like. And then we're just going to plate, place it around the edge, brush it on all the way around into a circle. Just don't use too much glue here because it will show up through. Okay, we're going to grab our piece, place it start from the bottom all the way up. Just pushing down gently on it so it sticks and then we'll grab a sharp knife and cut the end off. Now next what we're going to do is we're going to make the indents. You can use a knife or one of these tools and then just place an indent all the way around. 
Okay, now what I'm going to do is use some, some gloss that I've got in a spray can here. You can purchase this from any cake shop. And we're going to spray it. Just give it a good shake. And about 20 centimeters away, just give it a good even coat. Don't spray too much of it because it will leak down, it will drip, and you will see some marks there. So just give it a good spray. Just keep spraying it around evenly everywhere. And then we're going to leave this to dry. Okay, what I've got here is some foam. I'll put the um, dimensions in the description below. I've cut it on an angle, so we're going to grab some sugar glue and we're just going to brush it all the way around so we can stick our fondant on this foam. Okay, I've coloured some red fondant here with black to give it um, a dark red colour. Just using our icing sugar, we're going to roll this out into a nice long piece, enough to go around the foam. Again, lifting it up, making sure that it doesn't stick and that your hands are clean so we don't get any icing sugar on the top. So just keep rolling it out, lifting it up, rolling it out, and we'll lift it up again there until we get the required length. And then I'm just going to go to pizza cutter here and we're going to chop the sides off and place that away. Okay, with the pizza cutter, we're going to slice it down to a nice straight line and place it over to one side. We'll grab our foam here. And what we're going to do is we're going to cover the side of this foam. So take the edge that you've cut down and place it downwards over to the side and up and around and just using your thumb We'll go all the way around. It looks messy now, but later on, once we get it all cleaned up, it's going to look really good. So again, smooth it out with the base of your hand. Smooth it out all the way, all the way around. Lift it up so it sticks and we've got an even finish there. And at the front as well. Just slowly, you need a lot of patience for this, so I'm just using a pizza cutter there. Just cut that part there and all the way around the sides. Okay, so we're finished up here. We've got it all there. Now you can use a knife here or a pair of scissors like I have and just chop the top off evenly around and then just use your finger to smooth it down. Just chop it all the way around until you get it pretty much even with the foam. Using your finger again and then just smooth it all the way down. Okay, now I've got an acrylic smoother here. If you don't have one of these, you can just use your hands. This will give it an even finish. So just press down firmly hold the top of the foam as well so it doesn't move anywhere and then just smooth it around all the way around on each side make sure that there are no air bubbles there just smooth it around at the back as well and on each side okay what I've done here is I've just got some little numbers confetti numbers which you can buy from any party shop or the two dollar store and just using some glue I just put some on the back and then just stick it on the side okay what I've got here is I've covered a board it's a 15 inch board in black fondant and then I've just put ribbon around the side if you don't have um, this this size board you can use any size and you don't have to cover the board but it does give it a good finish so what we're going to use here is I've got royal icing here. You can make this yourself or buy it already made it, um, in, in a powder form. Just add some water and mix it around. So we're going to use this to stick the foam to the board. I've got a knife. So we're just going to take the spoon and I guess dollop a little bit in the center. It's going to go on an angle. So just position it somewhere on an angle in the back corner. 
and then just so we can place that down there. So we just dollop it down. Put a generous amount, that way it's going to stick and your cake's not going to go anywhere. Now using your knife, just spread it out in the same size. Obviously don't go over because then you'll be able to see the royal icing. So just spread it evenly down through there so it's all straight. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to grab our foam and place it on the board. Now, so make sure you don't damage the foam. I'm using a knife to lift it up. And then try not to touch the fondant on the outside. Pick it up and place it down on the back section. And then position it in a straight line. You can move it around here if you feel like it's not in the, in the right section and then just push it down and we're going to leave it to dry there until that royal icing sets so that way the cake's not going to go anywhere it's going to be held on quite tight okay I'm going to roll out a piece of the red fondant here using my ruler again and just roll it out into a nice even thin strip or thin string I should say just keep rolling it out lifting it up so it's not sticking and then we're just going to get a knife and chop the ends off and then I've got some sugar glue which I'm going to get and we're going to just paint it around brush around the sides on every every side all the way around don't put too much glue here because it will leak out just enough for it to stick all the way around the front and the other side as well and the back And then we're just going to pick up our string of fondant and then starting from the back just push it down gently and then all the way around this is going to give it a nice clean finish all the way around there we go and at the back there now what we're going to do is use a knife and just chop that part off and then use our finger to squash it down. Okay, now I've rolled out some white fondant here and just using the pizza cutter cut the ends off. And then we're going to get our bottle and we're going to be covering that part of the board there. Don't worry about the spray that's on the board, you won't be able to see that. So we'll get our white fondant and then just cut it down the center. Place it to one side. Now just measure it enough so that you've got enough there. Using our sugar glue, we're just going to glue, place the glue down onto the board. On the sides as well. And a little bit at the front there and the back. And pick up our one side of our fondant and just place it down. Make sure it's all the way to the edge there. You can use your fingers if you've um, if it's not close enough. Then just lift it up and push it in here where that neck part is, and then just smooth it down so it's all smooth. Make sure you've got no holes there. Just like that. And then just use the side of our hand to make a crease mark there. And then I'm just using a scalpel here or a blade. And then we're just going to cut the side off. Okay, so what I've got here is some glue, some ribbon. I'm 
we're just going to place the sugar glue around the side to stick this ribbon on the side of the board. You can use any colour um, ribbon. And then just starting from the back, we're going to stick it down from the centre and then just using our finger all the way around so it glues on nice and straight. And all around the other side until you get to the back and then just squash it down there and there you have it. Okay, Now I've got some red fondant here and I've rolled it out into a long strip and this is going to be for the neck of our bottle. Just cut it down enough to fit that section there and just slice it down the side in a straight, straight angle and the other side as well. enough to fit the top part. You can always measure it. I use my fingers to measure. Use a ruler. Take some of our glue and just place a little bit on the top there. Now starting from one side, I'm just going to place the fondant up and over to the other side there. I'm just using a knife, you can just cut it down the side or the pizza cutter. So I've got some white fondant here and that's going to go underneath there. So just cut each side off and then we're going to cut it down into a strip enough to fit just underneath that section there. Just starting from the neck of the bottle all the way around. It's just going to be placed there. So we'll cut that in half. And then we're just going to slice the side down into a narrow section there. Just like that. And then get some more of our glue. I'm going to start from there to the end and just place some glue down. And then we're going to put the white fondant there. Place it down gently, pushing it down with your finger. And then just using a knife and cut the end off there and do that around each side. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take some royal icing and we're going to place it on the top of the foam to stick that board with the bottle on there. That way it's secure. So just using your knife, give it a generous amount and spread it all the way around. Try not to go too much to the edge because once you put the board on this icing might leak out, the royal icing. So just place enough through the section everywhere and then we're going to take our board using a knife just lift it up and then we're just going to position it on the foam and then push it down enough just to touch that front of that board. Don't push it too much because then the neck will break. Okay, so we've got it there. Now I've coloured some red royal icing just with red food colouring and this is going to be our red wine coming out of the front of the bottle. And I've got some numbers there as well. So just grab your knife and we start from there and we're just going to sandwich or squash some on there, place the royal icing on the front of the bottle. And we'll keep doing that until we get enough like a pouring effect of this red wine coming out of the bottle. And just grab a bit more and place it down that section. It's going to cover that section there. It doesn't need to be too neat. So you can put as much or as little as you want here. Now we're going to take our numbers and what we're going to do is we're just going to place it on top of that wet royal icing and once it dries obviously they'll be stuck on there. So just place them down all the way over all on top of the royal icing. Okay so now we've got it here 
and I've used some these the cutters you can buy them from any cake shop and I've just cut out some letters here and stuck them on the board so now I've got some red fondant here and we just roll that and we'll knead it into a nice round ball and this is going to be for the lid so just roll it and then squash it down make it into a nice round section grab some glue and we'll just place it down there and push it down so it sticks now what I've done here is I've got an edible image for the label um, you can get this at any cake cake store just take the image that you want them to print and they'll print it for you so what I've done is I've cut around the label and then I'm just gonna take it off peel it off very gently so it doesn't rip off from the backing sheet and then turn it around and then place a little bit of sugar glue you can use water as well Place a little bit on the back, not too much. <clears throat> then turn this around and then place it in the centre of the bottle. And then using our fingers gently push it down so it's, it's laying on the bottle evenly. And there we have it. Our beautiful 3D wine bottle cake. It's absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, it's not that hard to make. And it's perfect present for any birthday or any special occasion. So I hope you like this video and thank you for watching. Um, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe as I'll be posting videos on a weekly basis. And I look forward to showing you another video once again. Thanks for watching.